Today we're taking a look at the Digital Reference DRI-100 and comparing it to the classic Shure SM57. Okay, so not too long ago I was at Guitar Center and I was browsing around and I saw this. The Digital Reference DRI-100. And this is just their version of the 57. And normally something like this wouldn't really catch my eye. But the reason it did was because they were on sale three for 50 bucks. That's like dirt cheap. So I was intrigued enough to buy them and I thought I could make a video about them. I mostly just wanted to compare it to the actual 57 and see how it compared. And I thought if anything else I'll have these three random mics kicking around the studio that I can just experiment with and you know just try stuff on. Okay so I thought we could just open this up and take a look at it and see what's got going on and then we can compare it to the actual 57. Uh, it's just a regular cardboard box if you look on the side here. It's got the polar pattern and the frequency response. I thought this was interesting, well over here. I thought this was interesting because it's a super cardioid. As you know, the regular 57 is regular cardioid. So, I don't know, I guess it'll be a little bit different, we'll see. Um, open it up, it's got this, this cheap mic clip in here. And then, the actual microphone. Uh, yeah, it's kind of resembles a 57. But uh, yeah, it's super cheap. It's Let's compare it to the real 57 here. So, you see it's kind of the same, similar shape, but uh, definitely way less quality. It's super cheap plastic. I'm going to open it up here, take the top off, see what it looks like inside. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's got this like weird mesh stuff like glued to the diaphragm and then like, I don't know if you can see that, but it's like a foamy stuff right at the end. And this is just a really cheap plastic. It's definitely not the quality of a Shure microphone at all, but what do you expect for 50 bucks for three microphones? Um, they claim that it's just a regular instrument mic, you know, Basically the same thing you would use a 57 on. So let's throw it on a cab and see what it sounds like on a guitar. Okay, so I was actually pretty pleasantly surprised. This microphone is a lot better than I thought it was going to be. It's definitely not like a premium mic or it's not, you know, the best mic, but for what you're paying for, it's pretty good. It was definitely pretty heavy in the low mids area and like compared to the 57, uh, the 57 picked up more, more frequencies, I think. It had a broader frequency range and it kind of balanced them more, but for what you're paying for this, that's, it's pretty good. I would definitely suggest this to anybody that's trying to start out and get into the audio world. Maybe you don't know if you're going to like it or not and you don't want to drop a whole bunch of money on something. This is definitely a good beginner's instrument mic. You can put it on guitar cannons, you can put it on drums, you can use it as a snare mic, a tom mic. 
you can even sing into it. It's, I mean, it's it's a 57 basically. It's not as clear as a 57. Like I said, the 57 definitely has a broader frequency range, but for just starting out, like if you're in high school and you're just wanting to buy a microphone and an interface to plug into your laptop, this is definitely something that I would take a look at and just to feel it out and see how you like, you know, recording music. And if you like it, then yeah, I would say definitely go out and buy a 57. They're only a hundred bucks for, you know, what you're getting. This, you know, is a classic mic that you'll hear on tons of records and live performances. It's just a classic microphone. You can't go wrong with it. But if you're just starting out and you don't want to drop $100 on a mic right away, then yeah, this is a good substitute. I, I definitely think that it's it's plausible and it has a place in the studio. Um, I bought three of them. Like I said, there I had there was a deal, three for 50 bucks. And I think that's going to be fun to have around the studio just to kick around and, you know, add, add you know, throw it with a 57. Um, I actually, I'll show you blended the two, the 57 and the DRI 100. It got a kind of a cool sound. It kind of brought up the slow mids, like I said, that it was heavy in. And uh, yeah, I definitely see it having a place in the studio. Um, I wouldn't rely on this for my, you know, main mic, but it's kind of cool to put on something to add as a secondary mic to just kind of experiment and blend in with stuff. So yeah, it's a cool mic. It definitely is. And for such a low price, like you have nothing to lose. I definitely recommend going out and buying one just to play around with and, you know, get a feel for. Like I said, if you're trying to get into the audio industry, definitely. Um, so yeah, that's the DRI 100. Thanks for checking out the video. If you want to find us on Facebook, we're at Color in the Shape of Sound Studios, on Instagram at CSS Studios, and of course here on YouTube at Color in the Shape of Sound Studios. Thanks for watching. See ya.